Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, a lot of markets yesterday were lower, and uh, like in the case of crude oil, 10 year lows, and um, took back some of the gains that we saw on Friday. I think the energy markets were concerned about too much supply and, and also the fact that uh, the demand may be uh, slowing. So um, uh, that put pressure on energy prices. Over in the grains, I think the two big issues that kind of popped up, uh, first of all, there was talk out of Argentina that the new president may allow the currency to float. Everyone is concerned that if he does that, it'll encourage farmers selling, which will put product onto the marketplace. Uh, that could take soybeans back closer to 850 and corn back closer to 350. So we have to watch that pretty close. He could make an announcement as, soon, as soon as December 14th. The other thing was the WTO slapped a $1 billion tariff on the U.S. Cool program. Um, that's country of origin labeling and mostly on the meats. So that affects uh, Canada and Mexico imports into the United States of meats. And so this uh, would put approximately uh, $781 million uh, imposed tariffs for Canada on the U.S. and Mexico, $228 million. Mexico has already announced they could put tariffs on apples, dairy products, alcoholic drinks, and personal hygiene products. Uh, now it's up to the Congress to see if they repeal the cool um, legislation. Got the USDA report tomorrow. Not a lot of, uh, expected to happen there. We're watching to see if they um, lower the Brazilian soybean crop because of the dryness in the north and maybe too much wetness in the south. And we'll see if they tweak uh, any of the um, Black Sea production numbers, especially in, in the wheat. China announced over the uh, night that they harvest their 12th consecutive record grain harvest in 2015. Um, their futures are, are lower, and the OECD said that there are signs that maybe the Chinese economy is, is stabilizing, but they see signs that U.S. and U.K. might be weakening. Midwest is clear. should be clear mostly today. Some rains might move in across the weekend. The two-week forecast continues to call for normal to above temps and maybe normal to above uh, precept. Yesterday, the fund sold 12,000 beans. 6,000 meal, 9,000 oil, 9,000 corn, and 3,000 wheat, and they have a short position. And so we have to watch pretty closely this Argentine announcement, see if it puts additional pressure on the market. We have to watch the Fed action on December 16th, and we have to watch Argentina's announcement on their currency on December 14th. All these factors uh, could be a little negative to prices. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.